mean, at this rate, they're going to end up attacking us. I heard the stocks are down. Is that because of Mad Jam? I really wish they wouldn't do this. I heard some other companies' private data got leaked. What are the Phantom Thieves doing? Yeah. Oh, hi. There's something I'd like to speak to you regarding Akio. Well, it's more of a request than anything. If you don't have any plans, could you see me? Oh. Hey. Um, I guess. <laughs> Today is your day off. Are you going to go somewhere? Oh, make sure you eat your curry before it gets cold. Hey. Yeah, we got an invitation to go out. We should. Well, let's reply when we finish eating. should hang out with Mishima at some point. <laughs> that way I can get more requests. Man, this is crazy. Well, speaking of, I can't keep up with this influx of posts. Isn't it tough being popular in Phantoms? Anyway, here's the latest lead I have. This is one has to be someone abusing their power. I wonder if it was written by a former employee of the company in question. Apparently it's one of the higher-ups that have been claiming and the achievements of his subordinates as his own. It really sucks. That's some... That seriously can't... Uh, like, seriously, I there was no good answer there. <laughs> I don't have deals for the person himself. The company's over in Shinjuku. Why don't you ask around the business? You could hang out. Uh, the bar at night. Okay. So now we can actually work at the bar. Uh, I want to go reform society today. Uh, no, we're actually going to hang out with Makoto today. <laughs> we're not reforming society yet. Alright. Apparently, Akio has started dating a host from a club near her work. I guess he's um, hit on her one day after her shift, and that was that. Since then, he's only the, the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. Kind of sounds suspicious. You think so as well? For now, he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special he she is. Makes my makes me sick to my stomach. But Akio refuses to listen to me. She said the idea of that all the hosts are bad people is outdated. She even said that she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. Aww. Tests about love aren't a thing, aren't a thing though. And even if they were, I would most certainly not flunk them. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm probably being biased towards him. I mean, I don't even have any proof he's untrustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this ex excursion as well. Uh, well... Uh, this time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, sure, I got this. It's honestly okay? You're so reliable, Renkun. I think if I have a boyfriend, Akio might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. S sorry, but it's gonna be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. Thank you. I thank you. You're a tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else I'd, ha I'd have to ask if you had said no. Wow. All right. All right.
Aikyo, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. Sure thing. All right then. Well, see you later. Sorry I had to ask something so unreasonable. I appreciate you going along with it, though. Do you think Akio's really okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid about her boyfriend. But if it turns out he really is toying with Akio, what should we do? Just try and reach out to her. You're right. We're friends now, so I'm sure she'll understand if I can just have an honest talk with her. Phew. I keep thinking in circles here. I need to stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see. Who's this host behind his smile? For Akio's sake. Okay. I'll call you again later. Alright. Now, we won't be able to do a follow-up to that until we have Max Charm. So we need to work uh, on that. You're back. Nice. Alright, yes. There's that. But we also have that, and we also have, um, Crossroads. I, I don't know if I even have the right... Yeah, I don't have it. Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna finish that book. Make sure you're close. <laughs> Alright, head home. A heart that believes in oneself is the truth of Bushido. Mm. Learning the truth of the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. Oh. So, you finished reading Master Swordsman. I'm sure you have a better understanding of resolve that drives a Bushido master. Still? No? Jeez! Alright, I guess it, we should go to sleep. Staying up too late and unhealthy. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who could it be at this hour? I know. I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring a DVD yeah, over a DVD that's perfect for this stinking hot summer. We can watch it in your, your room, yeah? Eh, don't worry about me. If you got stuff to do, I can keep myself busy. That settles it. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Ryuji's coming over tomorrow, huh? It's gonna be noisy all day. Sounds like it. 